Give me your number. My oh, number. No, oh, I can't. I can't. Oh, yeah. Five, oh you got a man's? Yes, you do. I don't. You're too old to be doing that. You're not going to jail. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. All right, welcome back to the night shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late, and so are we. It's time to clock in. This is going to be a relaxing episode. We've been traveling all over the world for the past few weeks, and it's time to relax and unwind. Are you serious? Do you think we're relaxing? We are going to Scottsdale, Arizona, craziest party city on the planet. That doesn't sound right. They got hot chicks. They definitely have hot chicks here. That's what I've heard. I got home yesterday from New York City, unpacked that bag, repacked it, just so that I can say after all this is done, after I look like I'm 90 years old, like Jerry Seinfeld. No, Jerry Seinfeld doesn't look old. I look like, um, Sadhguru. When I look like Sadhguru, dude, <laughs> after all this, I want you guys to know it's because I left it all on the fucking floor for y'all. 9 13 a.m. One thing I am excited about on this trip, David, we're always <laughs> flying around, we're always traveling around, big groups of people, and on this one specifically, it's me and you, buddy, and I like that because we get them. <laughs> It's gonna be a good opportunity for me and you. It's gonna be a good opportunity for. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. Are you fucking motherfucker? We're getting comfortable. Check in with the neighbors. Hey, pal. Yo. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. What the fuck are you doing here, man? I, I'm just going to the Jake Paul fight. I didn't know you'd be out here. You do what? You vlogging still? At this age? <laughs> <laughs> and now a word from our sponsors. Guys, I've been talking to you about Bluetooth for years, and some of you still don't get it. It's not just about doing good. It's about being in peak physical shape and leaving it all on the playing field every single night. Bluetooth makes chewable tablets that helps you maintain stronger, longer lasting erections, which means more satisfaction for her and less time in between reloads. Bluetooth will have you guys doing jumping jacks while all those other guys are riding the bench. And the best part is everything is done online and they're delivered right to your door, which means no more awkward doctor visits or lines at the pharmacy. Plus, they come in these small, easy to carry packages that you can keep right in your pocket so you're always ready for action. So, if you guys are ready to start hitting the pinnacle of your career in the bedroom, all you gotta do is click the link at the description below and use code NIGHTSHIFT to get your first month of Blue Chew absolutely free. You have no reason not to do it. Click the link and let's get back to the night shift, baby. We gotta load up, man. <laughs> Ooh, we got a match. I don't know about you guys, but I'm trying to find a wife this weekend, bro. Dude, what are some of these girls look like strippers, bro? All right, Immaculate Arizona vibes is at the pool right now. Look at this steak tacos. I got these french fries. Can't do anymore, bro. You had me doing push-ups for fucking 20 minutes trying to get the scene. I don't think I've ever seen a sky as blue as the Arizona blue sky. The mushrooms are kicking in. That makes no sense. How do you, oh, what, huh? It's not that blue. You're tripping. And we talk about mushrooms every week on this vlog. People are gonna think that we're actually fucking shroom heads, bro. You are? You want shroom head? Fucking don't come at me, bro. Don't even, you don't want to fucking try me. I'm extremely insecure. <laughs> Why would you Ladies. say that? Let me see your abs. When don't you see exploit me. Show all your abs, monkey boy. No, I'm sitting down right now. Give me like three minutes. Let me knock you out. No, you can't pay me enough money. I don't think you even have the power to do that. You want to give it a try shot it. right now at the pool, buddy? Punch me in the face as hard as you can. Do it quick before I think about it and change my mind. Do it. Blast me in the face. I don't want to do that. Hit me in the face. I don't want to do that. Hit me in the face. Do I look like a fucking crane? Too far. I want you to stop making those jokes, otherwise I'm saying heroin all the time. Dude, no, I'm kidding. Every joke, every joke you fucking make is about heroin. Old Town Scottsdale, we're on Main Street right now. This man riding a horse. You know when you're walking down the street, a hay bale rolls across and he goes, Woo! Woo! What's going on with you? Did no, you get bad news? No, I actually just got great news. What is it? Uh, Spotify wants to buy Jeff FM. Uh, they want to give us a deal before Impulsive. They literally said that in the email. I'm not really interested in selling right now. What's going on with you? Did you just get bad news? You want to do heroin? <laughs> <laughs> so what I wanted to show you guys, this lazy river over here, right past this dangerous crane, whoa, that whoa, I'll duck whoa, whoa, under. Jeff, Jeff, no! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Jeff! Oh! The other eye! Where did he go? No, no, not like this. Who is this here? Here, put your sunglasses on. Nobody will know that you've been blinded by two cranes now. There's David right there. No, 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 not that David. Not that David, not that David. Oh, the it's, German yeah, one. Yeah, the videographer. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no speak no English, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy. 
take it easy. Listen, okay. listen, listen to me. Bro, relax. No, you want to say relax now. When we were on our way, do you know what he said? Homie's a bantam. For a second? Homie like, said, I didn't, he's even, a say, I didn't even know what bantam might mean. <laughs> oh, see, that would have got me. That would have got me. <laughs> Have you actually met David Dobrik before? Yeah, David is one of my best friends. Did you pay this girl to come over here? No, dead ass. I just, I just saw the camera and I was like, I was like, they might vlog, you know? <laughs> just be honest, bro. Have you met if David you're before? Being about it, like, I don't care if it's a lie or not. I just want to know if you actually have. He knocked out one of Jeff's eyes. He knocked my eyeball out. I had to stuff it back in. I just feel like I'm being pranked. Did you set this up? Did you actually no. set this up? This is a master oh, genius prank. Okay, enough. Uh, enough. Oh, Where, are Where are the keys? Shut, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Tone no, it down. Yo, where are the hidden cameras, bro? Yeah, where's oh. Ashton Kutcher? All right, so what are you guys doing at the mall? You going? You shopping for luxury goods? Yeah, I'm gonna take her over to the Gucci store. If I see something I like, I might splurge, get something. So let me see them. Turn, turn, make, do a quick speed turn towards the camera. You missed the camera. <laughs> Two more time. Ready? <laughs> That Sugar Sean's a fucking, a real good fella, bro. He also has a fine taste for luxury goods, bro. Yeah, he's a prize fighter. Rubbed off on me, bro. All I was gonna say was I bought a jacket. Treat yourself. Treat your fucking self. Every once in a while, not crazy, make sure you got enough money to do things you gotta do. You know, pay the rent, pay the bills. But if you see something, you really fucking want it, this life is just not always promised to us, bro. You never know what's gonna happen the next day. If you want something, you got the fucking money to get it, fucking get that shit. Jay, as you want a prostitute. Oh, if you want a hooker, If you want a fucking hooker, David, fucking get it, dude. But as Jay-Z said, you can't really afford something unless you could buy it twice. I put a bet down today. Both fighters to be knocked down at the same time. $100 bet to win 10 grand. But if they are able to somehow produce a double knockout, my $100 will turn into 10 grand. What do you think the chances are that there's a double knockdown? I've seen it happen live before in my hometown. Hey, I love you. Are you part of the 7% female audience? I'm, I'm like a night shift. Fucking like well, I was. Well, I, this is, I this wouldn't is, even call you guys friends. I've seen this all. Is my listen, listen. I don't know who I am. And you, by the way, David. Yes, Amazing. I Great you. content. Anyways. I also really like your hat, by the way. It looks like a soft towel that I would use after getting out of the shower. Who am I though? What do you have to prove to me? Hi, I'm Mike. How are you? Good to meet you. Well, I don't know. Like, yeah. I What's your here? Give me your number. Five three zero. No, I can't. I can't. Oh, five three zero. Oh, you got a man's? Yeah, yeah. she do. I don't. Right, <laughs> Yo, Mike. Hottest girls in the world in the ring right now. Is that the one? I know the Impulsive crew is a, a bit more sensitive than the Jeff FM crew, okay. so I just want to get your approval. It's already live, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mike here. Mike, what's going on? <laughs> Can I say something real quick? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. This Read is the it. best episode of Impulsive so far. <laughs> so far. Actually, I laughed at that at first, but now I, that's, that's kind of That's not up, so yeah. funny. We got to revisit. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. See what I said? You guys are too sensitive for Jeff FM. I don't think people understand the amount of research that goes into the pre-production of these burger reviews. We ended up back with Sugar today at a place called Stoop Kid. And everything they do there is about death and fucking shit. They ask for no onions. What are, they, what are your things? Yeah, they put fuck onions on it. Fuck Man, onions. Man, the vibes are insane out here. I haven't ate anything today for this reason specifically. I wanted to wait. But also, when I'm in camp, 12 weeks, I watch the burger reviews and I just wanna be there with you guys, sinking my teeth into these burgers. Brioche bun, double smash patty, American cheese, America. diced pickles, that's a first on the show, okay. and diced raw onions, and quickly, quickly last thing, a place of culture, tater tots. Sean's shaking, he's, he's withdrawn from food, let's go boys, three, two, one. All right, holy fuck. I already know what I'm gonna give this baby. First thing that hit me right in the face, like a sugar fucking right, that thick, um, globular American cheese knocked me out like that fucking dude you fought, Jan, Peter Jan. 
the bun is extremely soft. You can tell it's nice oh. and it's like a small, perfectly molded trampoline. The meat has a great flavor to it. The onions are perfect. I mean, bro, I wasn't expecting to pull this thing off in fucking Phoenix, bro. Oh, this is damn near perfect. Mm. This is damn near perfect, dude. I always get a little scared of brioche and would opt for potato just because of the taste, but this is a great brioche perfect. bun. Dude, I fucking love tater tots. Only for cultured people. Cultured people eat tater tots, dude. First one out is a double whammy. That's nice. Bro, come on. I'm not even that big of a fan of burgers, but I'm gonna go ahead and give this baby a 10 out of 10, and I'm gonna throw in a Bantamweight Championship belt <laughs> because I know it's right around the corner. I appreciate that. <laughs> this alongside the tots, I'm gonna go ahead and give this thing a fucking 9.1, dude. Wow. Stoop Kid Phoenix 9.1, that puts that thing easily in the top five to seven burgers on the fucking chart right now. 10 9 round, baby, we take yep, it. We take that. <laughs> they never lost one out. It's not a split decision, bro, it's my show. With a split decision win over, uh, what's it called? For the win? For the win, look at that. For the lose, <laughs> you just lost it. It was tight. FTL. Look how my hands hanging. What are you exhausted? <laughs> Scottsdale, Arizona. What a town filled to the brim with, you know, combat sports, cheeseburgers, Sugar Sean, and let's be honest, hookers as well. What? What are you talking about? I don't know. I just, I couldn't think of the fourth thing to so say. You think that's what your people want to hear? That you actually did nice things out here. You did a podcast. You went to your friend's fight to support him. Maybe I have the wrong impression of what my audience wants. Tell the people what, give them some advice. Here's what I've been working on recently. I'll be completely transparent with you guys. I started to do a little bit more research on stoicism. This is what I'm working on. I would love to see you guys start oh, this doing shit's this. boring, dude. <laughs> Go back to the hookers. Do the hooker stuff. Come on, come on. If you can look at the thoughts in your mind as cars driving down a highway, always constantly go. <laughs> I'm bored. out of here, bro. I'm, I'm bored gonna, too. I'm gonna jump trying up. to get. Yo. You guys are gonna take a trip with us to the Middle East, which is gonna be absolutely crazy. And that will be on next week's episode of the number one vlog show formatted program on YouTube. Thanks as always for riding along with us. And more so, thanks so much for working late with us. We're clocking out, peace. My brain's not working yet. My brain's not working right now. Look around, there's two girls with cowboy hats right there. What do you say we go talk to those city slickers? I can't see, I have double vision. Yeah, because you just ran into another fucking crane. I almost fell into a cactus when I took a bite out of this thing. You're taking shelter from that wall. Scottsdale, Arizona, beautiful city. If you ever get a chance to come down here and visit, I would highly recommend it. You want to pay us more than Mike? Why is this flashlight on? Flash <laughs> Also, this just in, I'm 37. That, why are we going there, dude? Like, maybe I should fucking settle down and start a family. Yo, you have an extra pair of AirPods? Let me check my fanny pack, actually. Dylan, what the fuck is wrong with you? ever just look for their Instagram handle in the bio and then just DM them instead? Well, I'm banned on Hinge, so I wouldn't know. What happened? Oh my god, it's just a terrible story. Yo, put, ready for this? Push-up contest right now. Okay, deal. And you're the loser. <laughs> Winner gets the spot as the co-host on Impulsive. <laughs> you're never gonna make it, bro. I can do this all day. David, put a french fry in my mouth. <laughs> Ah! <laughs>